Hey everyone, this is Josh at Move. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a demo of how to add a new Move account, link a bank account to it, and use that new bank account to uh, send a payout via RTP. So uh, we're gonna step through all of that in this classbooker.dev demo site. Um, and to help me out with this whole thing, we're gonna open this developer console here. So as I walk through this user interface, we can also see what's happening behind the scenes. Uh, it'll be over here on the right. So we're gonna be using Move.js for a lot of the, um, the front end uh, orchestration here, which really just means that the Classbooker app doesn't need to handle this information um, or doesn't need to pass through the Classbooker servers. It really just goes from the user to uh, directly to Move. So we're gonna kick this off with entering my work email, uh, josh at move.io. And from that, we can see that we made an enrichment lookup with Move.js uh, for my email, and we got back an individual and a business um, so really just saving the user from having to do a bunch of typing if we can find information about them. Uh, the only thing that we didn't have was the phone number, so we'll just pop that in, and then it looks like we are ready to go. So I'll hit submit on that. You can see that we have a new account that's created here. Uh, note that I'm in sandbox mode uh, as well, um, but that's our response body from that new account. Um, right after that, I requested capabilities. Capabilities are really what power, uh, what a user can do inside the system. Um, so I requested two capabilities, send funds and transfers. We can see in the send funds capability, that there's a couple of things due uh, because you did not see me accept terms of service or specify a, um, an EIN for the business. So a couple other things due in order to get that send funds capability, but that's okay, we can skip that for now. The important thing is we did get the transfers capability that is enabled. So behind the scenes moved it, OFAC checks and a couple other things. And we now have this account that's ready to uh, to participate in, in transfers. Uh, behind the scenes, I also requested a new token, an access token that is, uh, that is bound to this new account ID that I just created. Uh, so I requ requested that and then set a new token for Move.js. Um, so now I can link a bank account. Um, I have a new set of scopes for, for doing that. Um, I did another look up here as soon as that routing number was popped in. Um, so just to, just to be able to surface that this is Bank of America, this is the routing number associated with, with Bank of America, um, nice little confirmation to the user that they entered that routing number correctly. Um, so then add the account number, uh, confirm it, account type is checking, let's go ahead and link that. Okay, so over here on the right we can see what's going on. We linked that bank account and we got the response for that. In that response, we're only provided the last four of that account number back, um, but we get really all the other data I, I specified as well as that bank name uh, associated with the, uh, with the bank account model. Uh, and then I also, right after that, requested uh, the payment methods for this, uh, for this account. So payment methods are really what are used to, to make a transfer. Um, so let's open these up and see what we got. So the first one is an ACH credit same day payment method, then an ACH credit standard, and then an RTP credit. So these are all tied to that same bank account that I just created, but they're a different way of using that bank account, really a different speed uh, in this case for, for each of those. Um, so, so two of them are, are using the ACH um, uh, network and, and one of them would be using RTP and that would be an instant disbursement. Uh, so how I'm using that in the UI is I'm actually shaving off one of those uh, ACH options because we're just going to do um, we're just going to do same day um, or provide that option to the user. But um, but if I also want to surface the ability for that user to get paid instantly, uh, RTP is an instant disbursement to their bank account. Um, I can do that, and I can also add a, a small fee to that as well if I choose. Um, so it's a really great way to monetize uh, that choice. Typically, users are, are willing to pay just a little bit for faster access to their funds. Um, so we really just surface that choice to them, and so we can see $100 total, uh, a $1.50 fee. That means that $98.50 will arrive in um, in that linked bank account within a few moments. So if we create that, then boom, we just uh, we just created a transfer. We actually did that server side rather than uh, here in the client just to um, prevent it from, from being retried and, and a few other things. It's best practice to uh, perform things like that server side. Um, but we uh, got back a successful response and we are, we are good to go. We just sent an instant disbursement with a bank account uh, that we just created with RTP. So super cool. And that's it. Thanks.